Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part 6. Inside this video session guys, we will see about how can we install plugin as well as we will create plugin menu at admin panel. And also guys, I strongly suggest you to watch our previous part that is part number 5 to understand about that is working principle of plugin files by files. Now in the previous videos, we had developed or created or downloaded our plugin from this official website called WPPV.me. This is plugin generator tool. Inside this tool, we have filled some information like plugin name plugin slug, plugin URI, author name, author email, author URI and after clicking on build plugin. It has generated a zipped folder which we had taken and unzip inside this WordPress setup. This is the latest version of WordPress setup at our local system. Go to WP content, plugins and this is the unzip folder what we have downloaded from WPPV.me. So basically we have two ways to install any plugin in WordPress. The first way to upload any plugin to WordPress via zip folder. If you go to our Chrome browser, back to admin panel, go to plugins. Now inside this if I click on add new. So here we have an option called upload plugin. If the WordPress plugin is available at WordPress repository, just need to type here the keyword and after clicking on that, simply click on install now. It will automatically install from the WordPress repository. But inside this here, actually we are talking about how can we upload plugin via a folder or a zipped folder. So if I click on upload plugin, now here, as we can see here, if you have a plugin in .zip format, you may install it by uploading it here. It means, let's say that we have downloaded a zipped folder from this plugin generator tool. Simply, uh, simply keep that folder anywhere at local system. We need to choose the path and upload here and simply click on install now. This is the way to upload any plugin via zipped folder. But remember, we have unzipped that and put inside this plugins folder and this is our plugin. This is not a zipped folder. This is a common folder. So how can we install that? So go here. Click on install plugins. So as we know that we have unzipped the zipped folder and placed inside our WP content and plugins folder. It means that this plugin will be available at install plugin section and here it is. Books management tool. This is all about plugin description, author name. This is about plugin URI and this is all about the version number. We had discussed all these things about in the comment section about in main plugin file. Again back to editor, open about the main plugin file and if we find about these information so here are the informations available in the comment section. These are the informations what we are seeing right here as we can inside this plugin descriptions. So if we click on activate button, so successfully we have activated plugin. But right now, there is no operation happening via activating this plugin. There is no menu created, no submenu, no dynamic pages, no dynamic tables. It's because actually we have not performed any operation inside this books management tool plugin. So let's say that our first operation is to create a menu inside this admin panel. So here like posts, media, pages and so on, these are menus. So we need to create a menu with a icon as well as with some certain position. To create a menu page inside admin panel, we have to use a WordPress function. And the WordPress function simply let's say add underscore menu underscore page WordPress. 
everything in WordPress about its customization is manageable by its hooks and the filters and rest all the dependent about its WordPress functions. So we don't have to remember all the WordPress functions, only the basic things we need to keep in our mind. So simply search about admin new page, WordPress inside Google and the first link actually we are getting if we open into a new tab. Go inside the documentation. By the help of this documentation, actually we can create a menu of plugin inside admin panel. So here it is, add menu page. It's a WordPress function. Inside this function, we have to pass some parameters. The first is page title. Second, menu title, capability, menu slug, callback function, icon URL and the position. All the details about these parameters are well explained inside this document as we can see inside this description block. So here inside this description block we have parameters detail like page title, menu title and so on. So let's use this function and create a menu inside admin panel. So back to editor. Now I go inside this includes folder, open about the main file, let me do some changes and if we want to create or operate or do any operation inside admin panel, so we need to go inside this define admin hooks. So copy searching this function and if I copy this function putting it here, so here. we need to make our action hook something admin menu now this is the hook triggered when we create any admin menu so admin menu and this is an object which is created by the help of this class and this is the class actually we have stored or find inside this admin and this is the file inside this file this class exists we are creating a object by the help of object, actually, we are going to call any method inside this class. So here, in the third parameter, we are going to define a method. So let's say that it should be something book, management, and let's say menu. This is a function or it's a method we need to define inside this class and this class will be find right here inside this admin folder. So if we go inside this file, scroll down. Now under this folder, let's say that create menu method. Back to plugin main file, copy this method name and also if I specify a single line comment, let's say action hook for admin menu save all these changes copy the method name and if I write here let's say public function and this is our method name and inside this we are going to use called add menu page so back to document Copy the function name, putting it here. Now inside the first parameter, we need to pass about the page title. So let's say that we want to create something, let's say book management tool. Okay. In the second parameter, we need to pass menu title. Menu title means that the name appears here. As this is post, media, these are menu title. So go here. Again, I am copying that. Putting it here. This is all about menu title. In the third parameter, if you back to documentation, we need to pass the capability. Capability means the user level access. If, as we know that inside our WordPress, there are many user roles. So while logging through any user role, this plugin will be available for which type of users. So we need to restrict that. 
so this is all about user level access so we want to be we want to give this plugin access only to our admin so right here we have to pass called manage options this is level access keyword in the next if you go to documentation we need to pass about the menu slug what is menu slug actually we had seen inside our previous video about slug so here let's say that book management tool in the next parameter if you back to documentation all we need to pass about the callback function callback function means when we click on this menu what actually going to happen which file actually we are going to call these are the operations are going to happen inside this callback function back to editor and inside here I am to pass a callback function so let's say that array we are going to use the current instance means the class object and we are going to define about our method name here inside this second parameter so let's say that book management let's say dashboard this is all about our callback function in the next we have let's say icon url so right now these all options i'm not going to pass that so if i save all these changes and before that if i define this callback function so let's say that menu callback function here so let's say public function putting it here and I'm going to simply pass a echo message so let's say within s3 tag welcome to plugin menu if I save all these changes back to WordPress panel click on dashboard and here as we can see that book management tool is the menu what we have created via files so this is all about menu title if we click on that this is all about plugin slug and this is the callback function what we have passed while operating with this menu this is the icon means setting icon by default the wordpress provides or by default the wordpress gives a position so if we don't pass about the icon url at the position and the position then wordpress by default gives the setting icon as well as about the last position inside this menu so let's say that if we want to pass our own custom icon or let's say position so how can we define that so for the icon if i open a site let's say dash icons this is all about wordpress developer resources inside this we can find several icons we have so let's say that if we want to put some attractive icons if i go here click on that and if we want to put this icon to our plugin instead of setting icon so simply copy this this is a class name copy that back to editor so after callback function the next parameter we need to pass called the icon url only we need to copy this class name what we have copied from das icon url and finally about the position back to documentation scroll down and here inside this position list we can find about the second position is for dashboard four is for separator fifth is for past post and so on so let's say that we want about our plugin menu after these pages so simply i'm going to put about the value in between 20 and 25 so let's say that i am going to put 22 value back here let's say 22 save all these changes back here reload this page now our menu is inside this pages and here is the icon what we have copied as a class name from das icons url website 
So simply guys, by the help of this video, we have created our menu over admin panel of books management tool. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.